Hi everyone, I'm Anu Katharisen, fertility physician and doctor mom, and here to educate on fertility. In the last video, we talked about optimizing natural fertility for the female partner. So I thought in this video, let's talk about optimizing natural fertility for the male partner. So let's start that topic today. <music> Long periods of abstinence can adversely affect sperm and having intercourse too frequently could potentially also. So what is usually recommended is having intercourse every one to two days during the fertile window. For more information on the fertile window, I will link a video here. Sperm is seen in the fallopian tube minutes after intercourse, regardless of the sexual position. And there's also no evidence that orgasms or lying down afterwards for a prolonged period of time improves success rates when conceiving. So you don't necessarily need to worry about these things. Another thing to consider is lubricants. So there are certain lubricants that you do want to avoid when trying to conceive. For example, saliva, KY jelly, olive oil. These things have been shown to decrease sperm motility and decrease the sperm's ability to survive. So lubricants that are okay to use when you're trying to conceive are pre-seed mineral oil and canola oil. Obesity has been linked to impaired sperm production, so we will always recommend trying to aim for a normal BMI as much as possible. Things that help are antioxidants. So for example, vitamin C and vitamin E, which you can find in most multivitamins, these things can help with improving sperm count and sperm motility. Other natural sources of antioxidants are fruits and vegetables, and so that's an important part of a balanced diet also. Smoking can reduce sperm quality and recreational drugs, steroids, marijuana, these things can decrease sperm function. An important thing to also note is that steroids and testosterone, these things can significantly decrease a man's sperm production. And it's important to not be on any of these medications. So it's important to avoid smoking, avoid recreational drugs, steroids, and testosterone. Boxers versus briefs. So the thought behind this is, is that briefs might be associated with higher scrotal temperatures, and this may decrease sperm quality compared to boxers. Well, studies have not shown any conclusive evidence for this, so we don't necessarily recommend one over another. But what I would say is to be mindful of situations where they can put you at risk for higher scrotal temperatures and try to avoid those situations. For example, hot tubs or laptops on your lap for a prolonged period of time. So just trying to be mindful of these situations so that you can avoid them. Things that are important for the male partner to do when you're trying to conceive. The first is healthy lifestyle, diet and exercise. Just doing what you can to be healthy and trying to obtain a healthy BMI. The second is antioxidants. So you can obtain this with fruits and vegetables and multivitamins that we discussed earlier. The next, avoiding steroids, avoiding testosterone, avoiding smoking, all of these things are very important. Reducing stress. And then the last thing, if any chronic medical conditions or genetic conditions, to address this with your healthcare provider. Particularly if any chronic conditions like diabetes, for example, it's important for these things to be well controlled. The other thing to keep in mind is that sperm regenerates every three months. So for any changes, for example, lifestyle changes, it can take three months to reassess the sperm to see if those things helped with improvement in the sperm parameters. But sometimes there is that time to reassess things, but sometimes there may not be. For example, if the woman is older and we're concerned about ovarian reserve, sometimes we don't have three months to wait. So this will just depend on the full workup. So I encourage you to discuss this with your healthcare provider so that you can understand the time frame that you have if these things are under consideration. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.